What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, Beats Simone, and we catch. 22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope-ass interview with Catch 22. Hi, I'm Tammy London, and I'm at Catch 22 Radio, and you can follow me on Instagram at T London Agency. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. Uh, how we doing this? Okay, all right. Get off the mic, right? All right, y'all, listen. We got a special guest in the building, Ooh. okay? Now, she is a church-going woman, uh-huh. uh, and she from London. Oh, okay. So we got to we gotta behave today. Okay. No, we don't. I'm like, nope. <laughs> we got to act worse than we ever acted. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tammy London in the building. What's poppin'? Hey, everyone. We are excited to have you here. You told us this was your first interview, so we're yeah, very honored to be your first, first one. Okay, so tell everybody what you do. She a pimp. Oh, pimp. yeah, she's yep, definitely sure. a pimp. <laughs> you can tell by the way she was standing in that street waiting for us to go in. Yeah, she was like, get on the counter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was on no, that phone. I'm she said, you sure? Yeah, I'm a model agent. I heard I heard you on the phone, and you said, girl, you better get out there. Okay. <laughs> I heard that. But I have boys, too. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So oh, you, you just pimp both? Money. You paid no. pimp both. You did drive up in a very nice car. I'm not going to tell them what kind of car no, it was. No, please tell me what kind of car she drove up in. just, you know, it got an emblem. It's real big. It's real nice. It's a Mercedes? It start with an M. Oh, a Maybach? No. Hey. She pulled up in a Maybach. You pulled up in a Mazi? Yeah. A Maserati? A Maserati. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pimping must be a lot. Mm. So how do you uh, get these uh, girls and men their jobs? Um, As a model agent... <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, <laughs> mean, they just come to us, actually. Really? Yeah. Mm. So what made you actually start the model agency? What made you want to get into that field? Um, I did freelance modeling in 2015, but then I focused on graduating college. But I didn't want to give up modeling, so, like, I just started a group. That's how it started. So you, the Tammy London Agency, or what is it called? What's the name of it? London Agency. T. London it's Agency. Tammy Okay. So okay. at one point you were a model. Yeah, freelancing. Because you're really tall. I know. You like are. How tall are you? Six one. Wow. Me too. Huh. Do you wear heels? Yeah. I don't. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't like heels. So do you? Would you date a short man being six one? Or how tall does a man have to be though? Because you're taller than the average man. That's I right. know I am. The average oh. man is like five eight. Yeah, so you six one. Race not average. Yeah, um, no. So you can't date a man shorter than you? No. Why are not? You, are you single? No. Oh, so you found the tall guy. Yeah. Oh. How tall is your man? Six five. Six five. Y'all have some big ass kids. <laughs> 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 your baby girl come out dunking. <laughs> Whatever. She's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> So what's your favorite part about being a modeling agency owner? Um, getting to know different type of people. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I, I like to get to know people. I tried to start a modeling agency, but all the models were strippers, so I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I had a type. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I do. I, I, have, <laughs> I have a serious question, though. So when you are, I guess, when they come to you and they give you, like, their – kind of like their resume of their work. Mm-hmm. How do you know where to send them and what gigs to send them for? Um, I ask them what category they want to be in because we do short films. We have actors, actresses. You know, you have models for editorial. You only have beauty models because of their faces. You have runway models. Um, I need to, I kind of look at them as well. And then if they really want to join my agency, but I know, okay, well, you're not going to get that many gigs because you need more work. I have modeling classes. Mm. So they go to our modeling classes. And then from there we go on. But really the agency, um, our purpose is to help people with their confidence mm-hmm. okay. as well as getting models who obviously are going to get booked and get them out of my agency. Y'all got plus size models? I was supposed to start this year. I'm definitely a plus size model. But I think I'm going to start... Some other year. I'm not going to say. I don't like saying my plans until I do it. 
And so I know I'm not going to do it this year anymore. So what would you direct me? If I was to, you know, come into your modeling agency. Uh-huh. You, I mean, I'm, I think I'm beautiful, so I can be a beauty model. To the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't ask you. I was asking her. Um, I'd ask you, what do you want to do? What exactly do you want? No, to no, do? I need your direction. He I don't wants have... to be a stripper. Okay, well, you can come to my modeling classes so that I can assess me. Yeah. So you assess strippers? N- no. Why not? Do you assess with it's the clothes? The do you assess with the clothes on the clothes off? Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't do no nudity. There's no nudity. Aww. None at all. Okay. Yeah. I think I think stripping and modeling is kind of the same thing because you kind of walk down the runway, you know. Facts. Only difference is it's a pole. Facts. Um, I mean, most of the time, you know, you're walking down, people are looking at it's you. It's not the same thing. And she get paid on site. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> how hard would you say modeling is? Like, because a lot of people think because they're pretty, they can be models. Facts. Would you, mm-hmm. Like, how hard would you say that it actually is for pretty, for pretty girls or just models to actually, like, make it? It's really hard. The industry is very competitive. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, as a model, yeah, you can sign to an agency, but they need to want it themselves as well. So they have to put in the research. They need to get on the right diet. They need to especially make great impressions with every single person they come across. Mm-hmm. So you can't be a model with a stuck-up attitude because mm-hmm. there's another pretty face out there with a great attitude, exactly. and they'll choose her before they choose you. Exactly. So Sorry. it's very hard. Very, okay. very hard. So I hear this accent. You're from London, correct? How long have you been in America? Um, ten years this year. What okay. made you come out this way? My mom. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> I like that. My mother. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> so you don't know Ella May? No. Huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So transitioning from London to America, like how 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 hard was it to transition? I guess over. Um, the first. Three years, very hard. Mm. Everything was different. Like what are I the mean, big differences? Um, the yellow school bus. Wait, was so what? Different. We don't have yellow school buses. What color school, school buses? buses? Um, red. You know oh, the yeah. double decker buses? So I y'all take double, double decker, decker buses, buses to school? Yeah, like like I guess the tour the buses. School. Yeah, but it's not a tour bus. Is like, it open at the top? No. Oh, I ain't never seen that before. Me either, ever in my life. <laughs> Just everyone is different. Like, it was very, very, it was foreign to me. So the most thing culturally that yeah. you came here, you was like, them buses is yeah, yellow. Them, <laughs> it looked like the movies. Yeah. Okay. Like, it was, it was basically, I was living in a movie. Because in London, of course, we watched the movies. And then I came to America, I was really living what I saw on TV. That's amazing. All right, so, like, culturally, what food, I guess, do you eat in London that they don't transition over here to America? Um, fish and chips. Man, somebody else told me that. We eat fish and chips. We, we, we eat fish and chips. It's not the same. Not the same. Not the same. Mm-hmm. Why is it's, it not the same? You ever ate it, Brian? So what happened was, <laughs> <laughs> y'all ready for the story? Time no. Uh-uh. Uh, let y'all finish y'all interview for that. <laughs> I heard it's not the same. It's not right. the same? So what's the, the difference? Same. It just doesn't taste the same. Like, it's just, mm-mm. I fish nasty? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. I like it's I fish. like you're trying to copy something that's original, but you get it wrong. So it's like it's so. What fake. do you like to eat? That's American. McDonald's. Nothing. Um, they got McDonald's. Like pizza. pizza. Pizza ain't always Italian. It's Italian. Well, you don't know, like chicken? American. You don't know, like chicken? Burgers. Burgers. Hamburgers. Ugh. Hot dogs. Mm-mm. Chicken. Okay. Okay. What kind of chicken do you like? We there. Baked chicken or fried chicken? Okay. Okay. So what we got to do is take oh, you to gumbo. the hood. But that's from Louisiana, right? That's still yeah. America. American. Okay. True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you eat crawfish? Have you had crawfish yet? Yeah, and yeah. yeah you don't like, you don't it. like it? it? That was weird for us when we first came. Bugs? Yeah. Oh, we eat bugs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so normally, like, uh, like people overseas start drinking at an early age. So. No. You didn't drink early. No. When, I, when, when I did was, you have your first drink? My first drink. Because the liquor, like, the, the age over there is different from over here, right? I, like 12. I, honestly, I came here when I was 13, so I can't, I don't really know oh, what okay. the age is over there. So you waited like the rest of us. Well, I didn't yeah. wait. I was drinking at, like, 14. I mean, of course, I had, like, Baileys with milk, like a mixture of Baileys and milk. What is with, that? 
You don't know what Bailey's is? Oh, in the Ice white bottle. Cream? No, it's in a black bottle. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, nah, we don't drink that. Okay. So mm-hmm. no. We drink a hard liquor at 12 so, Yeah, no, I had hard liquor when I was 21. I was drinking for a loco. Cry on a coat. I was drinking for locos. <laughs> so have you ever been back? Have you been back home to visit your friends and family there? 2014 or 2015. Yeah. When are your plans to go back? Um, within the next two years. Okay. Why you, you got plan like two years out? Because well, I'm in grad school. Oh. So I have a lot that I have to focus on. They got pimping degrees. They got pimping degrees. What you in school degrees. for? <laughs> um, LSSP, licensed specialized school psychologist. Pimp. Yeah. <laughs> like oh P- she said I've been the P P P I P school So no, so no, explain your degree because technically it is in the field that you're in. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. well, um a licensed specialized school psychologist. Mm. That's amazing. Thank so you. I So you catch them young. That's like surviving our killers. No, oh no, my right. gosh. No, so listen. you're like surviving our killers. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> listen, this it's like not weird. You. It's not weird to start with them young because when I was in Atlanta. Nope. No, don't ever say that, No, not, not, not sexually, you perverts. So, no, stop writing. We're going to start calling this. Stop writing. Okay. Okay, stop so, writing. So, <laughs> when we were in Atlanta, we heard that it was better to get them young to mold them into whatever they want to be. So when these old people trying to get out here, this they uh, so they bad. already got their mind made up. This ain't That's what I want to do. That's literally what our Kelly no. was thinking. No, okay, well, our Kelly did it on a <laughs> sexual scale. But as far as literally. entertainment and, and all that kind of stuff, that's what it is. They start young. It's better to start young. And with that being said, I do want to go into something else. It has nothing to do with starting young. It's actually <laughs> starting with the best of the best because okay. you're sitting next to the best of the best, exactly. right? Exactly. Um, so I have a group. <clears throat> and the name of this group is Thick and Nasty, okay? Um, Why are you looking confused? Na- oh, me? Yeah, you look confused. Excuse me. She says she's not doing Thick and Nasty. Oh, she has to do Thick and Nasty. She wants Thick and Nasty. I'm going to tell her why she wants Thick and Nasty. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to tell Drew. Tell her why she wants Thick and Nasty because we oh, are We are Thick and Nasty. nasty. Mm-hmm. Um, don't try to split us up. I know you're thinking, like, which one's Thick, which one's Nasty. We're, we're both. both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're background models. You know how you have, like, your runaway models or your editorial models. Like, you know you have... Like with the editorial models, like their focus is them. Mm-hmm. But we in the background looking just as cute, just as, cute. as them. Actually, better. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, runway models, like I walk behind somebody. You know what I mean? They not really focus on them because they focus on me. They look at us. I think that'll work. What you think? So like extras? No, uh-huh. no, 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 no. Oh, 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 <laughs> that was disrespectful. No, that was real disrespectful. I am the show. I just I'm in we the background. We are the show. We're just behind them. It ain't even. You ever heard? Us, you ever heard a, a song without like ad libs or backgrounds? It sounds terrible. Right. It's it's terrible. Terrible. You need me. I make them. I make You're right. I need thick and nasty. Okay, yeah, so you want to okay. book us? Talk to our manager. Okay. Yeah, I'm featuring Brian. That's so I got you. I got you. They'll go the next runway. So what's next for Tammy London? Me personally. Who else is Tammy um, Oh, well, like, me personally or my business? Both. Both, Both. yeah. I can't say. I don't ever like to say what's next unless I've done it. So oh. do you have uh-uh. anything, like, planned? Any? I have a lot. A lot. You know, speak it into existence, and it'll... Phew. I it speak happens. to God, and it's... Let me tell you what happened. There was one time we were on the Christian. show, right? Mm-hmm. And he said, <laughs> we asked him, who do you want to work with in the future? Uh-huh. And oh, and he ended up working with them? Check yeah. it out. He said, I want to work with Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Six months later, he was on tour with Travis Scott. He signed to Travis Scott. Oh, okay. Well, I want to do a fashion show with top models in Houston. Oh, wow. In December. If you have Thick and Nasty on your show, top models in Houston. That's as top as it gets. Bang. In December. In December. A winter fashion show. Oh, okay. That would be dope. That would be hard. I like her. I don't think Houston has one. Yeah. I, I I think what you should really do is bring, like, a fashion week. To Houston, like you know how they have New York Fashion Week and everybody uh-huh. goes. There's a Houston Fashion Week already. Nobody has it. Nobody goes to Nobody that. Nobody goes to it. Okay. So, <laughs> so you should recreate it. Have you been? No. no. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so you should recreate it and then you should make it to nope. where people go to the New York Fashion Show, but they also come to the Houston Fashion Fashion Week. Exactly. And and designers and models are pining to get in that spot for. Yep. for yeah. I think it would be dope. I think that would be amazing. It would be. Is Thick and Nasty going to help me? Of course. Definitely. I mean, what up? Uh, and the manager? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, so you don't have to ask I me do nothing. Okay. I'm there. So this is we're going to make that happen. Let's Perfect. make it happen. For real, for real. Well, where can everybody <laughs> find you on social media? Um, T London Agency on Twitter, 
Instagram and Facebook. Hey. So do you tweet in like English or like like London talk? London what, wait, 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 wait. What's London talk? Like y'all have different They like, say the like, whole word. <laughs> <laughs> y'all definitely talk different than that. Okay, but where does English come from? I don't, I don't know. know. English. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I don't oh speak God. I speak broken English, so I come from Mississippi, so Mississippi is how I talk. We speak English because English comes I speak from England. Dallas. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, I speak, speak Dallas. I speak Mississippi. I say right there. <laughs> Her. I speak call center. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, man, for calling. Thank you for calling. This is, calling. <laughs> this is Brian speaking. How may I help you? Can I have your account number, please? All right. <laughs> if y'all want to find Tammy, look under Fish and Chips. She's right Fish there. Fish and Chips. She's right there. That's Thank true. you so much for stopping by, no kicking problem. it with us. We really enjoyed you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we're about to go ahead and get into a mix with DJ Lace Front, a.k.a. DJ Anthrax. It's Catch DJ 22 Radio Show. Baby shirt. Yeah, DJ baby light shirt. Skin haircut. He trying to be a model, too. That's why he got the haircut. That's exactly what <laughs> he got. He's coming here in his nice jacket and but his But he came chain. in here with a crop top With on. a crop top. You are so weird. Fashion <laughs> forward. <laughs> Killing it. Yes. Yes. Come on, sis. Let's get Slitty to radio show. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com.